All right, so we just got the fresh data on jobs from Stats Canada for the month of July. And according to that, we have missed the expected amount of jobs being added and the unemployment is ticking out. So unemployment has gone up by 5.5%. This is the third continuous rise of unemployment since the month of May. So May, June, July. So continuous three months when we see an uptick in terms of unemployment. Uh, so it's 0.5% in a very, very short time. The unemployment has gone up um, and we are seeing the real tightness in the economy now. So basically, uh, Taylor's announced 6,000 uh, job cuts today, uh, which means 6% of their workforce. And Bell Canada also missed their earnings in the last quarter. And now they are going to further announce another restructuring, which means potential job losses. Bay Street financial verticals are quietly quietly laying off people so that those numbers which is pretty recent have not been reflected in the stats canada's numbers yet so we are seeing that the real impact of those aggressive rate hikes in the economy now so the rate hike program started last year so it took almost one year to really see the potential impact in the economy so mind you there's always a lag between 12 to 18 months where the rate hikes is going to take you know more time um, to be absorbed by the economy so we haven't even seen the, the true impact of the rate hikes yet and now we're just starting to see just you know beneath the surface we are seeing now some impact uh, in the economy in terms of job losses and insolvencies and we are going to see another CPI report before the September review meeting uh, by Bank of Canada and most likely uh, the inflation will stay or hover around 2.8%, maybe a little bit up or down. Uh, but if I was Steve Macklin, I would definitely consider pausing the rate here. And the reason is, as I mentioned, the lag effect. We haven't seen the, the true impact of rate hikes in the economy yet. And now we're seeing large corporations like TELUS, like Bell Canada, like the Bay Street Financial World are, are laying off people in, in big numbers. Like 6% reduction, that's a big one. And Bell Canada already cut a lot of people last quarter. And with this uh, latest earning miss, they're going to potential do for the restructuring as well as per their statement. So things are getting messier. All I can say is, you know, be prepared for tough economic times. Things are going to be messier. You should have some savings pools, you know, build up, you know, for your rainy days and don't make any unnecessary purchases. New house, new car, you should park that decision for some time later um, because things are going to get messier and don't expect rates to cut down anytime soon unless we see a severe recession. I don't see any case for a significant rate cut. Anyway, this is just my observation. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.